Hi YouTube Divas, Mahogany731 coming to you today with another video. And this particular video, I did one um, earlier today. To me it just wasn't accurate enough, so I want to start today. My, um, Mama Love Wigs and Black Diva 38. This is for you all. Black Diva 38, you commented on a picture of mine and you said, did you chop that mommy wig up? And she was actually talking about the wig that I have on now. And Black Diva 38, no I did not. I'm wearing the Doobie. This is the premium Doobie wig by Autre. And you and, and you all out there know that it's a very, very, very short wig and it's called Pixie. And I'm going to demonstrate to you all what I did with her. I have her on right now. What I'm about to do is show you. This is the same wig. She was black. I dyed this wig yesterday. I used the Booster Volume 40 with two packs of BW Clairol. And I dyed this one. This was black. I put the uh, the booster in the, on this wig, wrapped it in aluminum foil for like 20 minutes, took it off, and it really, really didn't dye. I wanted it to be bleach white, and it didn't. And this is the color that it came out to. But this is the wig, how I got it to this wig. Now, what I did with the Doobie Premium Pixie wig, it was in the color number black. And what I did with that wig was I submerged her in water. Both. The one I have on and this one. But with this one, this one has been dyed. But once I submerged this one in water, it came out looking like this. Now, this is the thing. When you just, just submerge the whole wig in water. If you want to co-wash, you can co-wash. If you don't want to co-wash, you don't have to. But this is the key. Once you do it, make sure it's on a mannequin, whether it's a styrofoam or whether it's um, one of these ones that they make from the Beauty and Barber. But this is the thing. Make sure when it's wet, you turn it like this upside down you see mine's have a drilled in hole and what i do i stick the i stuck a coat hanger through it and somehow made my makeshift hook so it, it just hang off my shower head in the bathroom just like this then i took my hand and i smoothed the sides down like this on each side while i was wet now i let it stand upside down drip dry for about an hour I came back to the wig and it was semi-dry. So what I did, I took just some basic, cheap 99 cent Ampro gel. Whether you use the brown, whether you use the green, whether you use the clear. And I put a dime size amount in my hand, rubbed it together, and did it like this. Left it upside down overnight. This is how it look. This is just how this wig look once it dried this morning. Now I'm about to show you the key. I'm about to take this wig off. Place the wig on the mannequin head. I keep all my wigs on mannequin heads because you can preserve the hairstyle for at least a week or two. It depends on whether you land in your wig or not. Me, I'm not landing my wig. I'm putting it on, taking it off. So what I'm about to do is demonstrate to you, and as you see, this is the wig off my head. I'm about to take this wig off, put it on the mannequin head so I can finish her out the rest of the week. Keep her set and pretty. And I'm putting her on the mannequin head. As you can see, I have my wig cap on. My braids are going back. I have this uh, basic wig cap on. And I'm about to show you all how I prep that wig. Now, this is the wig that I did yesterday. I dyed it. And I'm about to show you how I got that effect that the black one has. Now, this is my first time putting this wig on. As you know, the wig has the little clamps on the side. And I've taken, I push mine in so it can lay flat on my face. I haven't trimmed up the sides. As you know, in the other video, I did the sides. If you notice, I'm looking away because I have a mirror right here. And I can just see a little bit better. Okay. This is the wig that I dyed yesterday. As you can see, it's, it's not bad looking. I still need to do my little thing to it. So this is what the key is. Got to be spiking glue. This is the key right here. Now I'm going to show you. You can find this at Walgreens, CVS. A lot of stores carry it. A lot of stores. Now as y'all see, I didn't even use that much. It's running. Now I'm rubbing it. It's not that much. And I'm doing this. 
I'm doing this to it. Now what that does, it's going to help with the way I'm about to style this sister. Now you notice, she still looks the same. Still look the same. Then what I'm going to do is take my got to be glue blasting free spray. And the key, do not put this so close to your head. I just want to make sure it wasn't stuck. Look at me. And not even a lot. This is the key. Take a hair dryer with a comb. Y'all see my makeshift comb? This tape. That's too high. That was extremely too high. Put it on low. And what you're going to do is tease your hair how you want it. You see how I'm lifting it? I'm just lifting it, giving it its own little effect. Just lifting it. And this is how, this is what I did with the black wig. Did y'all see me just take off? Just lift it. And it, it gives it its own, you know, boost. You can see the style just coming in on its own. Just take and scrunch the hair how you want it. You might need to spray it again. As what I'm about to do right now, I'm about to spray it just a little bit more. To give it a boost. Turn it back on low. You can do high, but if you do high, it's going to freeze it extremely fast. When you do the low heat, it can be cold or hot. As long as it's low, it gives you time to set it where you want it at. So I'm going to look in the mirror. I'm going to look away from you for a minute just to set the wig. And as you see, I'm just scrunching. I'm taking the blow dry and pushing it up. Pushing it up. My cord doesn't reach that far. I'm just squinching it up all crazy and wild. I'm not really like making it a perfect. And right now, this is this is a style that's fine with me. Extremely fine. Now what I am going to do, because I like my wigs extremely close on the sides. This is too much hair. I'm going to take my razor comb and I'm going to go through the sides of the wig to make it lay flat. I did it with this one. I used no oil. I don't know if you all will approve of the color on my head. You know, whether you all like this color for me or not. But I love it. Now, I'm going to go into my bathroom where I can get a bit more light. I want you all to be able to see this wig. Okay, this is perfect. I dyed it. Well, I put a booster in it. But y'all know, for you all who don't have that got to be, please get the got to be spiking glue. And get the got to be blasting free spray. Now, when I tell you this does wonders, it does wonders. And it's not hard. I mean, you still, if you want to, you can take your hand and run it through it or do whatever you want to do. But it just gives you a different look for your wig. As you can do the, t the difference, my black one. Hold up, y'all. Let me try to fix my iPad. So I'm trying to get into some light so you all can see it better. Well, it's not going to work. But as you, I'm going to do a, a, look at the difference. Look at the difference. See the black one? She's not spiked this much. But then when you go with the lighter color and the brown, you got to give it that funky, funky, funky sensation, you know. You got to make it super funky. I'm trying to get in the light so you all can really, 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 really see the effect of this style. I just dyed it with a booster. I didn't put no dye in it, no nothing. It just is the color it came out. And I also want to share with you all, don't sleep on the Milani products. Please don't sleep on Milani. When I tell you Milani has stepped their game up, Milani has stepped their game up. I'm wearing a Milani lipstick right now. And this is how the tube looks. They even came up with a different kind of tube. This is how the tube looks. Has a little color on the bottom. No, no, no. My mistake. This is Black Radiance. I thought this was Milani. Black Radiance. And the color is... 5064 and this is the color correction black radiance and I 
I don't know what you know what color this is, but it's a pretty rose color. I don't know if you can let me put some white paper on. It's a pretty rose color. That don't do no good either. Well, anyway, it's almost like the color in my shirt, if you can see it. It's a real, real, real pretty color. And um, just don't sleep on these colors, y'all. The Milani and the Black Radiance, they came out with some unbelievable colors all of a sudden. But what I want to do, because my, my clock is running out, I'm going to come back with a part two of this video, okay? See you in two minutes and two seconds.